Jeremy Barnett. Today we're going to talk about a fundamental part of four mallet playing, the rotation stroke. This is the stroke we use when we want only one of the two mallets in our hands to strike the instrument. The idea is the same regardless of which technique and group you use, Stevens, Burton, traditional, and has a wide variety of uses, from basic single strokes through to advanced one-handed rolls. Now when we want to look at four mallet technique and rotation, we need to understand how the arm is put together. From the shoulder to the elbow, there's one bone, the humerus, but from the elbow to the wrist, there are two, the radius and the ulna, and it's these two bones that allow us to rotate from the elbow, turning from palm face up to palm face down. Try this yourself. Put the arm out in front and rotate from palm face up to palm face down. Notice the limits of this movement, how we can't move much past the horizontal in either direction. Remember that we initiate the movement from the elbow and the wrist remains relaxed and straight. Now, turn the hand into a loose fist and repeat the same rotation motion. This hand position is mimicking the position that your hand will be in when you're holding two mallets in that hand. Now, as mentioned before, this rotation is identical with all of the groups and is well worth spending a lot of time practicing. For this next section, I highly recommend practicing in front of a mirror so that you can see exactly what the arm and the mallets are doing. Take two mallets in one hand, in whatever group you use, and set them to a really close interval so that the mallet heads are almost touching. Now extend the arm out in front, and recalling our motion from just before, rotate from the elbow. Only rotate as far as you can, don't push it, and don't use the wrist to compensate. And what we want to see are the mallet heads drawing a little baby circle, like this. The motion's coming from the elbow, everything else is relaxed. And this is our basic rotation with two mallets in one hand. Next we want to try striking the instrument and a great exercise to start with is to rotate and alternate each mallet striking the same note like this. This requires a lot of velocity but is a great way to start building muscle Exactly the same motion. So out to a second, a third, a fourth. And by now you should feel that that motion that we had before is like a third of the size. It feels really tiny, but still use the rotation from the elbow. A fifth, six, seven. Obviously, then try the left hand, repeat all the same exercises, etc, and make it feel just as comfortable. Now a good consequence of using this sort of stroke and motion is it encourages, encourages us to keep our hands really low. We're not using the wrist to lift up, so we can keep the hands really near the instrument, and this is obviously beneficial as it's going to help us hit more right notes. Once each hand is comfortable with this kind of a stroke, let's combine them to check that everything sort of looks the same. Alternate the inner two mallets. Feel the rotation. Speeding up as much as you want. We just want to check it out at this point and make sure that each hand, each mallet rather, is happy striking on its own like this. Try the outer mallet. because we're keeping the hands low to the instrument and using it just to rotation, we're able to get a lot of speed and we can be quite accurate.
Now it can happen when the hand's set at a larger interval that we slip out of the rotation and start to break the wrist and use it to generate the stroke. We also might use the elbow or the shoulder if we're playing slow enough. Now I'm guilty of this too, and it's just a matter of taste and personal style as to how much you might choose to do this. For an experienced player, it's just an issue of control and being aware of your motions. But for a beginner, I really recommend actually limiting the motion down to just rotation because you've got to build the muscles and feel comfortable with each mallet operating independently with just a rotation stroke. Now each four mallet grip sets the hand at a slightly different position, but they all use the lower arm in this way, in this rotation stroke. I highly recommend studying the intricacies of any four mallet technique with an experienced teacher, but having a good, understand of, a good understanding of how rotation works and how the lower arm operates is going to help a lot whichever grip you use.